Aye. Stay safe, Mr. Whittle. Oh, you too. Strange little man with a mask. People were wearing a mask. You know, they claim that they know you, but they don't identify themselves. Have you noticed that? Aye. They like to stay mysterious. Well, it's probably because he's got leprosy. I didn't think that makes him short. Well, I think that just means like bits of your fat off or something. Yeah, half his legs. Fucking <laughs> Could have done. That one. There you go. Well, he did. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that is good. Have a good day. Yo, too. Road wagon delivery man. Stagecoach driver. Yeah, whatever. Soon to be a lawman. <laughs> oh, oh, but you'll make an excellent lawman. Oh, there's people I see sometimes that walk in the way. Oh. And he's going to be a lawman. Whatever next. Next, I suppose, they'll be making Synod Leonard a doctor and he'll be eating the parts that need sewing back on. You know, Mr. Walker, if anyone sees this, they're going to take Homebridge and think that you are being lazy, sir. Why would they think that? Oh, you know what they think, sir? You know, even though we're just only acting, they would believe that this may be real. Yeah, that's true. You know, there is a lot of silly gooses around here. Yeah, that is for true. But if you don't mind me while I sweep, sir, just between your legs. Okay, do you want me to move my leg a little bit? Oh, if you don't mind, sir. I kind of do mind. Why don't you just, uh, you know, sweep around them? You're going to get yourself in trouble. Why is that? Because people do believe everything we say. Well, Mr. Widow really can't go straight, huh? No. No, we can't. He keeps I find bumping into me. I find it hard to veer off. This is going terrible. No. I'm going to go over here now. Just flex it. Flex That's the one perfect. muscle. That thing. is perfect. <laughs> You're so far away. Come on, mate. I'm, 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 How I'm, I'm, does that happen? I do apologize, sir. I'm, I'm, <laughs> everybody else is so close. This has now become about me. <laughs> it's just become about me. Look at how close we are, Rupert. Make your way over there. Oh, where am I going now? What an ugly business yesterday turned out to be. Lack of staff. And dissent amongst the ranks. Well, at least we know who the main perpetrators are. I guess it now makes it easier to decide who goes where and who sorts out which bank. Now I know who prefers me over Mr. Walker. Well, I can honestly say, since we've all split up and Mr. Walker has left, the bank has become much quieter. No more deaths, no more murders, no more robberies. It's become quite pleasant. Howdy there. Good day to you. Howdy. Wow, you look fancy. Well, sometimes you have to dress to impress, right? A few moments later. Well, you have a nice day then. Have a beautiful day. Names. Already forgotten. Well, it's been seven days now since everybody has gone their own way. And since then, it's gone rather quiet. We let the customers and very little staff to talk to. I find the majority of my days now are spent in this chair, pondering what I have done. It is also very quiet, 
compared to how it used to be. <laughs> Let me out, he's oh, stabbed okay. me! He's oh, it's stabbed. fine! It's uh, fine! He, you hey. stabbed Petiti so, in my arm! Shit. Welcome oh, to the bank of rights! Come here, Petiti! Come here, Petiti! Oh, wait! Please help him, please. Did you stab him? I cut him on accident, yes. <gasps> Why? Mr. Walker! Okay, so is there anything no, no, I can no, help no, you no, with no, today? I told him I was uh, showing him how I, to play I, darts I was on the wall. I was to get some God. money, but I now I want to pay for the songs. Oh, yes. Well, how much money are you uh, looking for anyway? Me and I don't want to look back and contemplate on my actions. Do I regret what I've done? <laughs> Not on your Nelly! It's lovely now! Well, yesterday turned out to be quite eventful. Not only was the last will and testament of the great founder of the Bank of Rhodes discovered in a locked box and read, and we found out that Bartholomew Longbottom is the illegitimate son and heir. Nope, <laughs> not his investment, sir. Slumpy's investment. What? Yes, sir. He's illegitimate. They're not his investment, sir. They're stolen. The man is evil. And the true heir is Slumpy. Our janitor. Who would have believed it? But we also learned the bank was built on blood and treachery and devious acts. I truly wonder what the founder has in store for us from the grave. Demi said perhaps I should find myself a hobby. So he suggested Whitlin. Well, who I am. Whitlin. Whatever this is meant to be. Ow! Oh! Stupid boy. So, yet again we find ourselves in a mystery. We discovered that Slumpy is now a shareholder of 49% of the Bank of Rhodes. And that there may be further treasures hidden down in Armadillo. So, we took it upon ourselves to meet up with Sheriff Courage and go and have a look to see if there was anything down there. But, again, it looks like someone had beaten us to it. A sheriff carriage had noted that the door lock had been tampered with and upon entering the bank, we found a place littered with documents. And not only that, a lock box as a pertaining to Melvin Longbottom had been broken into. Despicable. So, it looks as if Melvin is still alive. So, we're wondering what he has planned for us next. Although one thing that we know, Slumpy did have a lot of bonds in a lot box that what is in his name. Now that, we do know, needs to be transferred. We need to sort out, maybe, an armoured delivery to get them bonds safely back to the Bank of Rhodes before they fall in the hands of despicable men. If only I could say, over the last few days, it had been quiet and peaceful with no strange things happening. Just when you think things are getting back to normal, Someone leaves a bath elf special guard outside. And you know what I'm like for baths at the bath house. I just can't keep away. Mm. 
Ma'am, if you're a man there, I, I can't really see you're in the shadows. I mean, if you could escort this gentleman out. I do not want a bath for the gentleman. I did, I did, I did. If this is what they, the bath specialists, I'm not coming back. I can assure you of that. How do I, how do I get out? Can you pull, can you pull the plug? Can you pull the plug, ma'am? What an awful experience that was. How do they let these people into the bathhouse? Let alone get away with the things that they do. It's not often I smoke. But do I need a cigarette after that? Despicable. And not only that, we seem to have a mangy raccoon that is impervious to bite that is watching the bank. Is this Melvin? Something truly terrifying is happening to me. Oh, it's truly terrifying, sir. If you could come in, maybe lasso me out. Oh, it's a... It's like a shape-shifting... Oh! You... You sh... How dare you employ people as ugly as this? You should never... Ah! ah, ah. Oh, Mr. Whittle! I gotta get... Locked. I gotta get out of here, sir. I'm going. Um, Run. Wash up. Pull the plug. Get me out of here. Or perhaps... I truly am going mad. Maybe I've overworked myself into a state of delirium where nothing is real and everything is just in my imagination. Oh, it can't be sanitary just sitting there, you know? It probably explains why we can't kill Melvin. I mean, he's he's got a new shell. Maybe a... Maybe something stronger. Jesus. I know! Look at it! No one is gonna believe me about what I'm seeing at the bathhouse. Let alone about Melvin the raccoon, which now seems to be changing his shell into what? A suit of armor? Perhaps that's what we should be on the lookout for. Well, one could almost say Rhodes is back to normal. I mean, I'm not even going crazy after what's happened today. It appears it's not me, the only one that has been seeing the strange things that have been happening. But I know one thing for sure. There shouldn't be a butcher in the bathhouse. Oh, hello. Yes. Oh, don't get the deluxe while there's fresh meat hanging in there. No, I want to get... Oh, yes. But this is different. I mean, I've never taken a bath in a butcher's shop before. I mean, if this is what it is, this is what it is. Ooh. Oh, the... It's, uh... <laughs> no, it's raw. <laughs> I mean... It's some jerky. What is this? <laughs> is this a badger? Oh, no, the news. Melvin's back. And it's not only me that's seen him, which is good news for me. The bad news is... He's now got a sombrero and a gun. He's got a gun. It's time to go. Which wouldn't be so bad. But I do believe he knows how to use it. So we're going to have to be on our guard from now on. To keep a lookout for the bandido that is Melvin the raccoon. On another note. We may have what it sorted to get slumpy spawns back to roads. Well, what a strange day today has been. Not only am I glad to see 
a poster of Melvin on a notice board warning about this dastardly evil raccoon. But he also turned up with his posse, or should I say, a possum and a beaver. But then, to top it all, Sol and Joe had another argument. I didn't touch you. Boys. Don't ever fucking point a gun at me. It does warm the cockles of my heart to see the pair of them playing nicely. So, they let bygones be bygones. We thought we'd take a Bert Hackett ride on his lovely boat tour. I mean, what could go wrong? Apart from Joe, never finding his sea legs are constantly falling in. And then, becoming shark food. Well, if you think my monologue was going to end there, there's more. Where things became terrible and everybody got eaten by panthers. So me and Mr. Walker left to get help. Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, oh, run! Oh, Just oh. run! <laughs> and you were the smartest two people there then, you know that, don't you? Yeah, we really were. That's crazy. You know, technically, we could just leave them here. Oh, yeah. Why don't we do that? Yeah, definitely. I've had enough of this. This is mad. If this, if this is what he says his trips are all about, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> into any of this. So, we left to get help. And then, the fire. Oh! Pump. That's oh, same oh, 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 my God. My God. Oh, that was oh, oh that's oh that is close. And then attacked by a dastardly group of outlaws. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Shit! I need waves, so he's shot at me! But after finding them help, was there any gratitude? You're ungrateful. You're ungrateful people! Ah! Oh, no, 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 ah! No, 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 Here we are again. Today's monologue. Well, yesterday, Lenny Page surprised us by introducing us to a local artist and paying for him to do a lovely picture of me and Sol. Gentlemen, a pose that would suit you both finely. I'm not sitting on so your lap. I want you to stare ahead and uh, put your hands in the air like you're doing the Mexican wave. Oh, Maybe okay. There you go. <laughs> and this is a familiar oh, pose. I don't like this. We find no, ourselves like this all the time. No, they're taking the mickey. Oh. I truly believe Melvin the raccoon could have done a better painting. But if you thought anything could have got any better, well, I took a bath down in Blackwater as the bathhouse in Rhodes always seems to be occupied by strange people. Bathhouse on the other side. I'm trying to talk to the lady. Will you please be quiet? Oh shit! There's a wolf in here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there's a, a wolf. wolf there's, there. there's a wolf in here with me. Well, I guess we'll be staying away from the Blackwater bathhouse. Wolves? Oh, but anyway, getting back the roads. I mean. Will it ever be quiet or normal in roads? Who the hell is that? Who the hell are these fellas? What the hell is going on? Keep on take my wife from the bank, you Oh. Well after that attempted robbery, it was nice for Lenny to turn up with her boat. Trouble is. I thought it was a river boat. Not a land boat. It was going on. <laughs> I have truly seen it all now. Truly, I have seen it all. So, we went cruising around the towns. What a joy.